Have you ever heard about dogs needing a gallbladder removal? Just like in humans, dogs can suffer from gallbladder issues and when they do, it's usually safer to remove this organ rather than leaving it in. This can be done through open surgery or via keyhole access. In this video, I'll be telling you what signs to look out for if your dog has a gallbladder issue, how the surgery is done and how to act earlier rather than later. Here at Warren House Vet we perform open and laparoscopic gallbladder removals and in this video we will focus on the laparoscopic approach which is also known as keyhole surgery. Has your dog been vomiting with obvious abdominal discomfort and refusing to eat? These symptoms are quite common and don't always mean a gallbladder issue. But when this is associated with jaundice, which you can see on the sclera of their eyes, peeing a lot, fever, diarrhea, abdominal distension, you should take them to vets immediately. This story is about Vinnie. Vinnie is an eight-year-old male border terrier who presented with vomiting. He was unable to keep any food or water down and was struggling to pass poo. He came in to see our vet Rosa with a distended abdomen and was very tense around the area of his liver. We ran blood tests which revealed raised liver enzymes. Raised liver enzymes identify a problem with the liver but not specifically which problem. It could be issues with bile movement or damage to the liver cells. Further investigation was needed at this point so we proceeded to perform a full abdominal ultrasound. This enables us to look at the soft structures within the abdomen that cannot be seen on x-ray. During the ultrasound it was noted that Vinny's gallbladder contained a mucosal, which is an extremely thick mucus bile that cannot pass to the intestines normally. Bile, under normal circumstances, is yellow-greenish fluid that helps to break food down during digestion. Gallbladder removal, also called cholecystectomy, was indicated when medications did not help to break down the mucosal and his liver parameters did not improve. Surgery is often the best choice and it is better done earlier when the patient is still well rather than later when it frequently requires an open access. Also the patient is more unwell, it's higher risk surgery and also quite frequently can happen out of hours which means that it's much more expensive. Gary performed Vinny's surgery laparoscopically through a keyhole. Using three ports and inflating Vinny's abdomen with carbon dioxide, Gary was able to use laparoscopic instruments to push the liver out of the way to visualize the gallbladder. Then he dissected it to the neck and separated from the liver. He placed the clips on the neck of the gallbladder to ligate it to ensure that no material from inside of the gallbladder could go into the abdomen. Then he detached the gallbladder, placed it in a laparoscopic bag inside Vinny's abdomen before pulling it out through one of the ports. Vinny ended up uh, having three very small incisions around two to three centimeters each, whereas standard open surgery would have resulted in a much larger incision which would have been more painful during healing. Vinny experienced some gastrointestinal issues during the first few days after surgery which can often happen after cholecystectomy, but overall his recovery went well and it was so lovely to see him trotting around uh, just recently at the practice. We hope this video has helped to raise some awareness around gallbladder issues in dogs. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel where you can see more interesting cases and behind scenes videos that we post on a weekly basis. 